Hello, this is Toll from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'll show you how you can add wrinkles to a mesh without having to actually use any true geometry, but just using a texture. And uh, I'll leave a description of the paper texture that I'll be using in this tutorial in the description uh, below this video. Uh, but let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is just we're going to take this cube, we're going to make it flat. We want it to make it look, make it look like a mattress. So it's tab. And we're going to press 7 on our keyboard to look at it from the top view. And we're going to scale. Uh, we don't even have to go to edit mode. Just scale it on the Z axis. So press S and then Z. And then drag your mouse up. Or is it? Wait a minute. 7. S and Y. And drag your mouse up to make it longer and S and X to make it uh, a little bit wider and then in the modifiers let's let's look at it from the side view first press 1 on your keyboard now scale on Z to make it a little bit thinner want us to look like a mattress and then let's turn on our directional arrows here click on that to move it up above the the uh, that little uh, border there and now we're going to go into the uh, subsurf modifiers, or into the modifiers actually, and just click on that. And we're going to add a bevel to it. And we're going to crank up the segments to make it a little bit smoother on the edges. So here, just click on that. And uh, yeah, there you go. And we're going to apply that. Now that's not really part of adding the wrinkles to the texture, but I just want it to look good for the tutorial. And the next thing we're going to do is we're, we're going to divide our UI here. We're going to hover over this area. When it turns to a crosshair, just pull this down. And then we're going to go to this little tab here, this little icon. Click on that. And from the drop down menu, we're going to click on Shade Editor. And it'll give us our shade with the principal shader for this. And we want to know, we want to know what this is going to look like. So let's press on this little, uh, icon here. Click on that. And it'll give us a shaded view of what we're looking at. And then we're going to go back to our, uh, right panel here and click on this little icon, which is for our material. Click on that. And it's already been activated to use nodes. And from here, we're going to press control T for the node wrangler. So pr press control T on your keyboard. And then I'll come up and G to grab it. We're going to pull this up. And then G again to pull it off to the side with your, just pull over to the side with your mouse click on that. We're going to turn this from point to texture. And we're going to open up our first texture, texture, but before we do that, let's just duplicate this set of nodes. So left click, hold down your left mouse button, drag that across and we're going to press G or shift D actually duplicate that, press enter and then press G and pull this down and we're going to position that right underneath this first set of textures let's click, left click on this and drag this over and what we're going to do next is press shift A and we're going to pull out our mix shader from this uh, pop-up menu click on that because we're going to mix the two uh, textures together the fabric texture plus the paper texture that we're going to use and then left click and hold down your left mouse button and drag this up and then when this line turns white it means it's connecting between these two uh, nodes and then we're going to let's zoom Roll, scroll down on your mouse wheel. We're going to take this. Hopefully, we can see this good enough. Or let's let's actually just left click and drag over those section of nodes and press G again and pull this down. We're going to zoom in, scroll up on your mouse wheel. And the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to hover over this little icon, this little node um, button I call it here, and hold down your left mouse button and then drag that out. A, a noodle will come out from this and drag it to this shader here. We want to mix these two together. 
now the next thing we're going to do oh looks like my software the blender is frozen oh there it is just come back it froze up first i get kind of nervous sometimes with this which i shouldn't do because uh as i've said in previous tutorials the the screen recording software that i use camtasia keeps freezing up so i'm just trying to get through this tutorial without having to do this 15 or 20 times uh but from here we're going to zoom in to this first texture this first set of t this first set of nodes up here at the top I'm going to scroll in scroll up and zoom in click on this and I'm going to navigate to where I've saved uh, some textures on my computer you do the same with your computer you can, you can use any texture that you want to for this uh, technique but I'm going to scroll down which one am I going to choose uh, let me see uh, choose something that's kind of oh, here's the one this looks pretty nice double click on that and that's going to load up that texture and we'll see it in the viewport here in a little bit and there it is it's pretty big let me see if we could make it a little bit smaller oh this actually before you actually mess with this texture just turn it from uv to, to generate it pull this down and that's going to give us a better because this is not UV unwrapped, it's just just a flat texture, uh, a flat mesh. I mean that has been unwrapped, that has not been unwrapped. And there we go. We have our texture on top. And if we scroll back into our window where our nodes are, we're going to do the same thing. Turn it from UV to generate it. All you have to do is left click on that little button that says generate it. Hold down your left mouse button, a noodle comes out. You drag it onto the vector, and once this accepts that little change, we're going to go here, and we're going to click on open in this sex in this second section of nodes. This is the first section at the top, and we're going to go to our second section at the bottom. We're going to click on open, and we're going to use that texture that uh, is in the description below. Uh, this video and we're going to I'm going to navigate to where I've already saved mine and I think it's in this one and there it is double click on that and wait till it loads up a few minutes and there it is and you can see that you can adjust it that's why I use the mix shader as, as opposed to the add shader we want more of the fabric to come through than the paper texture so I'm going to drag, hold down my left mouse button and just drag it towards the left here so that the fabric texture shines or comes through a lot more. And there you go. That's how you can add wrinkles to a fabric without having to add more geometry. And it's just a quick, simple shortcut that you can use as a, 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 when you want to you know, make your fabric look more realistic. You can do this, the same thing with curtains, the same technique with curtains, with uh, sh clothing, shirts, pants, whatever it is. And you have a wrinkled texture onto your fabric, which makes it more look more realistic. So yeah, that's my Blender Quick Tip for this evening. And I thank God that it went through without the uh, software crashing. But yeah, that's it. How to add a fabric, how, had how to add wrinkles to a fabric without actually having to add more geometry or using a normal map it's just a straight texture map between two textures and like I said you can you can adjust this may pull this a little bit more down I guess so you can reveal more of the texture and there you go that there your those are your wrinkles in your fabric and once again I want to thank everybody for subscribing and everyone who will subscribe to this channel really appreciate all the support and all the views that I've gotten really appreciate you guys and thanks for the support and once again, I'll see you on the next one. You guys have a great evening and have a great night and have a great life. All right, adios.